uh, you know, I, I, there's not much I can say, and I don't, I don't even, we're just going to be short tonight because we got to get back. We got 11 a.m. game on Saturday, a very important game for us. Uh, they kicked our butts again. Obviously, they made, they make threes, they, they make threes against everybody, but against us, it seems like a lot more than that, 17 threes. Uh, they share the ball. Uh, they had 23 assists. Again, transition points, points off turnovers were were a killer for us. Uh, we started two bigs. We just try something different. And we talked about getting it inside. We got it inside the first two. Times. Both of those guys did not come up with, with baskets. Uh, I just think we get a little impatient. We haven't made threes, and then we go back to the threes. And, and then, obviously, the turnovers plague us. So, um, you know, it's just uh, they're really good. Uh, they got a special group. They're undefeated for a reason. I, I just thought we we tried a little something different on defense, but they're just so good and they read it and and they make the right plays, the right passes. And um, you know, I I, I, I got to believe in something. Guess unless something happens, they're gonna they should win the league and and they're gonna be a team that's gonna be playing late into March into April. I would expect so. Um, not much else you can say. I, I thought I. I I seen it all, um, you know. One, our, our strength coach yesterday, Ben, uh, tore his Achilles. I, my heart goes out to him and our family. He had to have surgery today; he couldn't be with us. One of the best human beings I've ever been around, and a really, really good strength coach. And and you just almost want to cry because you just don't, you know. For him, he just stepped and made a wrong step, and boom, it tore. And then today, we're getting on the bus. Well, the bus didn't start, so we I literally I had to walk to the games. So. Uh, with the, with our coaches and we've shuttled uh, in a van uh, the rest of the players so and then we had some of our guys went on a city bus so it's just when you think uh, it couldn't get worse it, it did but uh, you know we can't we got to put them all behind us and move forward and uh, get ready you know for I thought Nigel was uh, you know he he would struggle a little bit early but he got some minutes to get him some minutes I thought he did a couple nice things. Uh, he did definitely bring the five assists, one turnover. Um, you know, and then I thought uh, Surrey gave us some energy late. Obviously, it was when the score was uh, a big margin, but he runs the court. He can do some things. He's just got to learn how to play a little better. Uh, Luke was solid because he just Luke just does what he can do, and he doesn't try to overdo it. Uh, you know, and, and, and that, obviously, that I think some of our guys all try to overdo it and try to make plays. And if we're going to make any progress, we got we to gotta be, I told them, learn from them. They share the basketball. They move the basketball. They push the basketball. They get a, a good opportunity for their teammate, and they're happy for their, for their teammate. Uh, and we just don't do that. And, and we got to get better at that if we're, we're going to have any progress. So. I don't know what other question you would have, uh, you know, other than we got to get back and, and we got to get ready for, for Texas a &M. It's a huge game, biggest game of the year for us. And uh, we got to see if we can get some positive energy and, and play our butts off against a team that come and play. They, they play their, they play their tails off. Buzz has got them. They, they play different zones. They play man. They come at you a lot of different ways. And uh, they're going to shoot. They they've shot a lot of threes at times, and also, but yet they have some big guys. So uh, it's it's an important for us if we're going to make. We got to get something good happen, and uh, and then going into this last stretch, and then see if, get everyone back and keep them healthy, and see if we can make some progress. Thank you, Coach. Uh, first question to Kellis Robinette. Yeah, Bruce, you've talked a lot about these last 10 games, trying to prove something down the stretch. After a day like today, do you feel like the guys are still motivated for that? Are they as into it as you are right now? Well, I hope so. If they're not there, they won't play. We'll play the guys that want to be. And uh, there's enough of them that want to be there. I think they will be. Uh, but I just, I just told them if they're not going to come with great energy and a smile on their face and, and play hard, they're not going to play. And that's, that's all we can do right now. Um, I know it's been hard. I know it hasn't been what everyone expected, uh, you know, and, but it, you still are playing basketball at a college level on national TV. And you got to be, you got to come with that kind of energy and, and appreciate the opportunity and make the most of it. Is there anything you guys uh, 
you really stressed with the guys they needed to do tonight to stop that from getting that far out of hand? Well, it, I mean, they just, you know, your worst nightmare. They made shots. We didn't make shots. We turned it over. They, they're so good in transition. Uh, their efficiency in transition is just amazing. And you got three, really, you know, people have talked about five guards that are really good. Definitely three. The fourth one's real is, is, is a great backup, maybe six man of the year. Um, they're special. I've told that to Scott. I told you guys before, it reminds me of my Illinois team and uh, in, in 05. And when you got elite guards that know how to play and they share the basketball, and then you got big guys that know their roles, um, it, it's, it's, it's tough to go against. And especially um, with a group that's, you know, just, you know, has struggled all year and trying to figure it out. And uh, it has, right now we don't have any rhythm and we got to find some rhythm here as we as we move forward. All right, thanks. Travel safe. Yes. Next question on Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, uh, no attempt to be flippant, but have you had the team play as defense as this one has uh, in this game? I don't know if it was, as, uh, you know, tonight especially. They just make – they know how to play and make shots. But I thought we made some progress on defense against West Virginia. Um, we started the two big guys. I, I, they hurt us in transition with the two bigs because one, you know, either we missed the shot or turned it over. Their big guys run so hard. Now we had to have a guard back there, and then we just didn't match up well. Um, that was the, the we were afraid of that, but uh, we thought we'd give it a go, do something different, give us a boost to start the game, and obviously it didn't it didn't work. Are you seeing some progress made in practice that isn't transitioning to the to the game floor? I thought I thought West Virginia, you know, we had 28 turnovers against them, and they only scored 69 points, and and five of them were at the end against our our walk on, so it was really 64. So and and you think of all those turnovers, it was pretty good. Then they come back against Texas Tech on Monday night and score 88 against what's supposed to be one of the best defensive teams in the in the country so I, I think we've made some strides obviously tonight was not was not our night uh, they just uh, we they just pick you apart you you do something they read it uh, we did, did things on defense we haven't done all year tonight just to see if we could do something different and uh, obviously they're they're really they're too good and they just they know how to play and they 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 pass the ball they love each other they share the ball and uh, you know, I, I just hope they stay healthy and uh, continue to represent our conference in a, uh, you know, in a positive fashion. And Mitchell getting the open looks, was that just kind of some new guys on the floor for you that, that couldn't find I, it? I think some of it's transition. They, they read it. They share it. Some of it is uh, they play off, your, off their ball screens. They just know each other. I told our guys too, three years ago, they weren't doing these things. You know, what, I don't know what Mitchell was doing, but he was sitting on the, he was red shirting. But, you know, Jared Butler was not the player he is, but he's made himself into a player. They got in the weight room, they've gotten stronger, they've worked on their skills, uh, they, they've all improved, and then they bought into team. And you got to give Vital, I know he doesn't get a lot of credit, but he might be as valuable as anyone because, you know, he just, he punks you. He's physical. He knows what he is. Plays his butt out, and then, you know, when he we got those other skilled guys, that that makes them even more successful. Thank you. A couple more questions. The first one to John Kurtz. Yeah, Bruce. Um, how much do you worry just long term about this loss being something that hurts the confidence of of a young team that you have right now? I mean, it's 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 hard, and I but all I. I just said we got to come back. Uh, we're, obviously, we can't even practice tomorrow because you're going to get back late. We'll do a lot of prep and shooting and and talking and and then uh, Friday's got to be a great practice and they got to come with that energy to believe that they can win. I've talked for a while about the last ten when we got everyone back to see what we're about and that's that's the mark they can leave if if they you know they we almost starting over to be honest and we'll see what they do with it. At one point. The ESPN broadcast in the first half had commented questioning the pride of, of your team. Did you ever get to that point in this game? I don't think so. I, they're just good. I, I didn't think our guys quit at all. I thought they kept playing. They just, they just, uh, you know, they're just really, really good. So 
uh, and they're good at what they do. And what they do is, is something we're not good at. So it's not a great matchup for us right now. I appreciate it, Bruce. Thanks. Next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Hey, Coach. Um, you're, this has been a really strange year. We all know that. But do you feel like these young players have, are showing progress? Or are we just, are we just seeing them hit a, a span of games in this Big 12 that they're just not prepared for? Or are they going back? Yeah, I think a little bit of both. Um, I was talking to Casey Scott on the walk to the game. And, and you know, part of it, we haven't practiced. We haven't practiced together. I, I think I, I, Coach Anderson brought it up to me, you know, today that I, I think we've had seven practices as a team. And, and, and those were back at the start in, in whatever, whenever they let us start. Um, so the, obviously we didn't have the, the chance to prepare. Um, you know, you're, you're, these guys have been together for two straight years. They know what's going on, really. Some of them three years uh, with vital four years, you know, so they know what, what's going on. They know how to play. Um, and we just, we didn't have that chance and we didn't have the summer to get strong. We didn't have the strong summer to work on our game. We didn't have the fall to do those things. So it's just, it, you know, it's uh, the worst case scenario, the worst storm. I'm not making an excuse. I'm just telling you what it is. Um, and, and, and it's probably the worst thing is that, uh, we, we put a real young team, a new team, in a really, really good league against some of the best elite teams in the country. And you've had to take your lumps. So um, now what do, you, what do you learn? That's what I told them after. What do you learn from this? Why are these guys special? Now, if, what do you, how do you, where do you want to get? And if you want to get there, you're going to have to get in the weight room. You're going to have to work on your game constantly. Uh, you're going to have to you're going to have to learn how to play. And, and you know, so all those things got to happen, uh, you know, if we're going to make any progress. So, uh, I, again, I, I told them I'll play whoever comes and plays with energy and wants to be there and has pride. Thank you, Coach. Okay, one last question to Ryan Block. Hey, uh, Bruce, I'm sure it goes without saying that the, the post-game locker room was, was fairly somber, but were you at least – Happy, I guess, with how they maybe responded to, your, to what the, the post game message that you delivered to them. I I don't know. I, I'll I'll know tomorrow. I'll know Friday, and that's all. I said, "What did you learn?" That was my. What do you learn from playing an elite team that knows how to play? That's very very good. That that makes the right plays, shares the basketball, guards knows their roles, plays hard every possession. That's what you. Hopefully, you learn that. Now, if you learn that, now what are you going to do about it? Um, and that's that's the whole thing. Um, so I we'll we'll know more. We'll you'll know it's Saturday at eleven o'clock how what, how we play and the pride we have and uh, the intensity we play at. I I I I, I believe it's going to be there. I hope it's there, and I I want it for these guys to so that they can take a step.